What's going on YouTube? Stealing Likes here, and you guys have once again caught me handing the cookie jar. I'm out here trying to get me some likes. Uh, same team as the earlier video I had today. I am packing my fur frown, my Archaeops, my Crobat, my Rotom, my Jellicent, and my Heracross. Now, bring a couple of walls, a couple of hitters, just trying to do something a little bit different. I've never run this team before today, so I wanted to see how it fares. Now, this battle, I'm going up against Blue Whimsicott from Twitter. We actually met up while I was in the middle of a battle with Tristan, which is the one I posted directly before this video. So you guys will probably see these about an hour to an hour and a half apart. I'm not certain, but I am bringing two live ones today. Now, Whimsicott basically asked, you know, the entirety of Twitter if somebody was looking for a throwdown. And you know me, I'm always looking for somebody to throw down with. So me and Whimsicott hopped on, got each other's FCs, and basically we are getting ready to get into the madness. So without further ado, let's get into this battle and see what Whimsicott brought. All right, going into this one with a lot of concern lot of concern. For one, I just matched up with somebody who was not Wismcott. I thought it was because they were on my friends list and challenged me and then DC'd in the middle of the match again. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, much, I'm much more concerned is the Pokemon that I was lined up against last time were not these. As I'm looking at a Victini, a Nidoking, Gardevoir, probably a Mega, Salamence, Tangrowth, and Tentacruel. Now looking at the lineup here, I don't know how fast Victini is, but I do feel like Victini would not appreciate Archaeops leading. And Victini and Archaeops seem to be the most likely leads for the two of us. I am going to go with my most likely lead. Now, Wismacott, I am so sorry. I thought that you were Andre. I am so sorry. I really thought I, I thought it. So, no idea what happened there as I just got... He came up as a passerby. I guess I didn't register him as a friend before I came back on and hopped online. So, yep, there is Victini Archaeops. Now, Archaeops should outspeed. In my mind, Archaeops outspeeds. I know that's how it works in my mind. I kind of want to go for a Stone Edge. I'm going to go for a Stone Edge. I feel like this Victini avoids my stone edge no 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 that is probably a dead archaeops too yep that's a dead archaeops awesome so the stone edge that would have killed does no good for me <laughs> as i am forced to go into probably rotom i'm gonna go into rotom oh, i can't believe i missed that stone edge that would have been a dead Victini, and I would have loved every second of it. Now, obviously, I can't Will-O-Wisp. However, I can Volt Switch on it. I'm just looking to take a hit and move. And I think that's going to be my tactic until I get either rid of Victini or Victini goes out. So, he could switch into Nidoking. That would stop me from Volt Switching. I would still go for the Will-O-Wisp, seeing as I don't know what Nidoking would pack for... It probably packs some rocks. It almost has to pack rocks of some form. Oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. I was looking to murder this thing right out of the gate. So, he does withdraw his Victini. Goes out into Nidoking. So, no Volt Switch for me. Now, he is probably packing some kind of rock. I will Will-O-Wisp it. As I'm, I'm beyond certain I should be able to take at least one hit. He Sludge Waves. I have no idea why. But it makes me pop my Citrus Berry. Now, Sludge Wave tells me this is not a physical Nidoking, or else it's, a, it's either a mixed Nidoking or it's special. Now, I'm used to Nidoking being a physical attacker, or at least that's my opinion of things. I do, however, feel a lot more comfortable pulling off this Hex right here, which should deal a huge, hefty chunk of damage to that Nidoking. Now, the secondary Sludge Wave, I mean, it's going to hurt my Rotom's feelings, however... Rotom is going to get off some pretty nice damage right here with the 110 stab hex. Yeah. Oh, that's a crit. Okay. So, crit mattered in my opinion, but nothing new there, as the crits always matter in my opinion. I'm going to go for a hex letting the Rotom go down because it gives me a safe switch into something that will kill Nidoking. King. Although, it is kind of hard for me to just let it go. He withdraws. That's new. Goes out into Dr. Tentacles, his Tentacruel. Now, I'm not sure 
why he's favoring the poison so much right here, as that is most definitely a special wall tentacruel. I don't know how fast they are, but if it lives, it'll give out a will-o'-wisp real quick. If it doesn't, well, lives. I know it, he, uh, uh, that was ridiculous. Does he think it's some kind of a ghost? I know ghosts aren't weak to the poison, but knocking off an item that's not there is I already ate my citrus berry with a not super effective attack that's not stab. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I, I'm going to go for a hex, assuming that I could possibly, I don't know. Oh my god, he didn't kill me. What is this? Is he not packing an offensive water move? Because that could be the bane of this tentacruel. However, it is a especially defensive tentacruel. It will not respect my hexing. Now, he is going to heal more than he takes from that. But he's almost got to kill me. I'm going to Volt Switch, assuming that he's not going to kill me. Okay, he finally kills me. He did, he did pack a water move. It just took him a little while to use it. So, now I've got to threaten him out without an electric type. That's a little tough. As I'm packing no psychic, I don't believe. I could be wrong. I could be packing all kinds of psychic and just not remember it. <laughs> that would suck. So, Fur for Out, Crobat, Jellicent, and Heracross are my remaining Pokemon. Now, I've seen Scald on this thing, and I really don't want Heracross to, to get the Scald. Jellicent could handle that. Jellicent could handle those problems pretty handedly. Now, a Hex on this Tentacruel would not deal much damage. I want to go for a physical attacker. Crobat! Crobat's got to be it. As Crobat is going to get in here and do probably very little damage with a Brave Bird. Probably a very, very, very small chance at damaging much at all. Now, he could swap out, seeing as this thing has to be a special wall. He could swap into a physical wall just to see what I'm going to do, which is completely legit by my book. Now, he's got two burnt Pokemon, one of which is pretty much dead. He could use it as a safe switch, especially if it's... Well, Poison Pointed won't matter because of the Crobat. However, it could be Poison Pointed and saved for this kind of moment right here. Now, he probably does go out into Nidoking. Nidoking's going to take the death. I'm going to take very little recoil. However, he just lost his Aqua Ring, which was perfect. Because now he's going to take... Now he's going to take more damage than he heals. So, he's going to have to put up the Aqua Ring on the first turn he comes back in, just to try and avoid all that burn. Now, Crobat, not really worried about what happened with that Brave Bird right there. At all. Crobat's still pretty fast. Wish I had Archeops around, but... I don't know what I would want to go into for this Victini. I just, I just recalled the Victini who can come out and do not-so-fun things. I am going to U-turn. As I should be faster once again. I could be wrong. I could be... No, if Archeops is faster, then, then Crobat is most definitely faster. Something of that nature. However, I'm going to U-turn, just get the most minimal damage possible off before swapping for probably Jellicent. Yeah. So Jellicent's going to come around and do... Oh, that's actually not bad. Going to do the uh, healing thing with being the watery one that he is. Now, Jellicent is a, a very obvious switch here. He does go for the Bolt Strike. Now, I'm under the impression that this is Victini's... Is this? No, that is not Victini's special move. I do, however, disable the Bolt Strike. Not that it's going to matter much. I'm down like 3 to 6 at the moment. Nope, 3 to 5 at the moment. And I don't want to see things happen. Victini... It's going to burn me. It's going to burn me. I know it's going to burn me. So, the idea is to try and coax the burn onto Furfrow. Just, just in case it's physical, I have to get off some damage here, even though I no longer have a brine. What does he go into here? Tangrowth? Tangrowth? What is this? Physical wall Tangrowth? I feel like it's physical wall Tangrowth, as it's shiny, and I, actually, that's a really nice looking Pokemon. Hmm. So, Tangrowth, definitely grass... I believe Poison. I'm going to Swagger it. I'm going to get its attack nice and up and hope it punches itself in the face as it's really all I can do to it at the moment. 
Now, I am faster. Does this thing pack an, an effect spore? I feel like it packs an, an effect spore. That would be terrible for me, as Tangrowth would do terrible, terrible things to my face. Ooh, it hits itself on the first turn. Now, I don't really want to stick around in front of this Tangrowth with my Furfrow, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn. I feel like the way he brought it out, it has to be packing an effect spore. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't go off on Furfrow, so I could go back out into Heracross. I'm going to go into Heracross. It's got to be Heracross time. As I'm going to attempt to set up, because Heracross has to deal tons of damage, and it's ridiculously slow. So, Tank Growth in here, confused. It's going to knock off, and it's not going to do squat. So, that is very, very helpful. He's carrying the leftovers of the Black Sludge, or that's going to tell me some things. He is carrying leftovers. Not oh, Black Sludge. Maybe he is not the ridiculousness I'm thinking of. Now, the Swords Dance is not going to make me that fast. I'm hoping he sticks around for this turn. I don't want him to go out into Victini, as Victini will outspeed my plus one Mega Heracross. It's, it's dirt slow. So I'm going to have to get some swords up. He's going to have to go for some damage. I don't know exactly what he's packing to want this Tangrowth out here. Oh, I forgot I added the plus two to that knockoff. The Swagger. The Swagger was real. However, the resistance was helpful. Now... I don't feel like he'd go into Tender Cruel here. I don't feel like... I feel like the only thing you'd want to go into is Victini. And does he just go straight away back out into Victini? Nope, there's Salamance. Okay, so Salamance is probably packing a Flamethrower. If I had to take a stab at it. If I had to guess, Salamance is packing some kind of Flamethrower. Now, it's going to resist everything that my Heracross can do. Everything whatsoever. Everything that my Heracross can do is just gone. Now, unless I do pack a Stone Edge, I'm going to go for it here. He does get his Fire Blast off first. That's a dead Heracross. Anybody's book, that's dead. So, Heracross goes down. Ugh. I cannot believe that I just got murdered. Yeah, I can. I can believe it. Because this team, this team was frightening to, from the get-go. Salamance is Life Orbed. Not that it's necessary. So, I'm going to go out and Crobat. <clears throat> And I believe that a cross poison will at least deal some status problems this thing. Could be wrong. But it's I'm gonna try. At least I can do. So Fire Blast. Is Fire Blast physical? I probably should have gone out into Furfrow. Hmm. Retrospect. However, I do want to get some damage off on this thing, as I know, yeah, it's gonna be heavy on the attack side. Crobat does not live that. So I'm left with Furfrow. <clears throat> now we've seen Furfrow put in work on Salamance before. This has been a thing in the past. He is going to take his Life Orb damage. And then I'm going to go out into Furfrow. And I'm looking for just a good answer here, as I'm not seeing one. I think that the Swagger is not my best call. I feel like Return is really the best that I can do here. He is faster. He is going to hit. It's going to hurt a little. Oh, it's going to hurt a lot as he crits. Okay, so the crit does hurt. He takes the Rocky Helmet damage. He takes Life Orb damage. He get, he dies to the return. So I do bring the score down a little. <clears throat> However, I'm pretty certain that Furfrow is not going to even score out any more than that right there. Now, oh, Victini's signature move is Decreate. That's the fire type one. So what is this thing that it's been doing to me? I've never seen that before. So out pops Gardevoir. Now, Gardevoir is a special attacker. It's going to trace my fur coat, which is terrible for me. However, I'm going to swagger it, hoping that I'm faster. I mean, that's really all I can do. That's really all that's left. It, obviously, is going to respond to the Mega Ring. And unless I'm faster, I have absolutely no chance of killing this thing. As I do get the swagger to go down. So in order for me to win, it has to hit itself like five turns in a row. I don't see it happening at all. Now, it's Confusion. Does it hit? It does, in fact, hit itself. Not that it matters. Now, the Fur Coat does not protect against self-hits. It's a neutral Sucker Punch that I've got on me. However, it's a super effective U-turn. So I'm going to U-turn into it, hoping to just get off a little bit of physical damage on its face. 
yep, there's a little bit of physical damage, and it's going to kill my fur frow, unless it hits itself. It echoes its voice. <laughs> it just throws its voice around the room, murders fur frow. So, great matchup, Blue Whimsicott. That was a fun one. I actually enjoyed that a ton. Now, everybody, including you, Blue, make sure to drop a comment below. Make sure to sub because, you know, it helps me out with the game. I really like the comments, especially whenever you guys talk over things like uh, Mega, Mega Mogwai. I think that's how you say his name. But Mega was on my page uh, talking to me about movesets for my different Pokemon. I've had a lot of people give me a lot of positive feedback. I really enjoyed it. It really does help me get to a competitive level. So thank you all for that. In addition to that, remember to drop that like, you know, just hit that button right below. Because 15 people hit that button, and I will be bringing Wonder Trade Wednesday this Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to it. I really hope we get to do it this Wednesday. So you guys make sure to bring the likes. I'll bring the matches. Until next time.